Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a form on your Wix website in 2023. Forms are a great way to collect information from your visitors, whether it's for feedback, inquiries, or registrations, so let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. So now what we need to do, of course, is just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave. But of course, in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. As an example, you can use Google Chrome, you can use Firefox, you can use Opera, you can use Brave like me, even an Internet Explorer if it's working for you. So whatever browser you have or you want to use, go ahead and use it. Once you do that, of course, you can simply go to your URL section and simply type wix.com and hit the enter button. That should take you directly to the home screen or the main screen of Wix website. And of course, here, if you have an account, you can simply click on the login option and that will take you to this page. Of course, here, you can simply enter your email and check this remember me option if you don't want to keep logging in into your account every time you get into the site or into the website. Of course, if you forgot your email, you can simply click here so you can get it back or remember it. Of course, make sure to read this term of use and privacy policy so you don't get in any future troubles. As you can see, you can read them very carefully because it's very important so you don't have any problems in the future with Wix company. Of course, this site is protected by Recaptcha Enterprise, Google Privacy and Terms of Use apply, so make sure to read them. And of course, you can even log in into your account with Google, Facebook, or even Apple, or with your SSO. If you don't have an account, make sure to click on the sign up option. And of course, from here, you can create your account by entering your email, then retyping your email, creating a password, and typing your password again, then clicking on sign up. Of course, again, you can create your account with a Google account or even Facebook account. And by signing up, you're agreed to our term of use and the knowledge you've read our privacy policy. It's the same as I showed you before. So for me, let me just fill this information real quick right here. Let's see an example that's going to be my email. I'm just going to retype it. Like this, the password let's say it's going to be something like this and let's just re-enter it and here we are as i said you can or you don't have to fill all of those if you want you can simply click add continue with google if you have your google account already connected and choose the email or the gmail that you want to connect with for me i choose the same email that i choose here so now let me just save this. So next time I want to log in or something, I'll not have to fill those manually. And here I'll have to answer a quick survey. So let's set up with the right tools. First, who are you creating a website for? Of course, you can answer those questions or you can simply click on skip. So do whatever suits you for me. Let's say an example for me or my business or friend. So I'll click on continue. And here, what kind of websites are you creating? Let's say an example online store. Click on next should not take a lot of time this survey and of course if you're getting bored as i said always click on skip enter your store name let's say an example it's going to be something like this click on next because this survey will even help you uh, understand them a lot and even they will will even help you and give you a recommendation based on your survey right here so let's say an example it's going to be blog i don't know maybe music video and click on next why not? So here, as you can see, we can simply now go to our dashboard. And as you can see, they are preparing my dashboard right now. So I'll have to wait a couple of seconds and I'm going to be right there. So as you can see, now we are at the dashboard of my Wix account. And here, of course, I would like to finish this steps to set up my store. As an example, I'll have to add a first my first product and then set up a payment method then of course set up shipping and delivery address then 
design my website, then connect to a custom domain, then get found by customers on Google. So the first step to creating a form on your Wix website is to add the form element to your page. So of course, there is a lot of apps that can do that for you, but you'll have to take some time to research about the best apps that can work with your store. So all you need to do, go this, to this left panel, click on apps, and that will take you right away to the app store or the app store. Once you're here, simply you'll have to go to this search and type create, as an example, create form and click on enter button. As you can see, there are a lot of apps right here. So as I said, take some research to see what's the best for your website or your store. Once you choose the right one for you, simply click on it. Uh, but make sure that some of them are free. There are some apps that contains a free plan available and some apps that needs premium sites required and some apps just have a sometimes as a free trial and then you'll have to pay and sometimes you'll have to pay from the beginning per month as you can see from here so what i used here actually or what i'm using in my website i'm using this wix form payments forms and payments as you can see for you will have to go and then sell it then add it and for me I, it's already installed so i can just simply open it up and add the form i want and customize it of course this Wix form and payment comes with this feature so you can get started a variety of professional templates, customize the layout and design and add the field you need. Let's visitors pay for products or service directly from your form and manage submissions easily from your dashboard to send automatic or automatic responses. Of course, if you want to know more features, make sure to click on read more and read all of this. This app is available on worldwide, so you can use it wherever you want. And app languages, it's just English. So if you need other languages, make sure to go and check for these apps, as some of them will contain more languages. So simply, you'll have to add your form by opening it, and of course, by adding your form. And once you added your form, of course, element to your page, it's time to customize it to fit your need. So you'll have to click on the form element and go to the form settings. For me, I'm just going to the, the dashboard. So for you, you'll have just to follow the guide that they're asking you to do. And it's going to be pretty simple. So for you, just customize the form field, change the layout and add any additional features you might need, such as CAPTCHA or something like that, or thank you message. And of course, you'll have then connect your form to your website. Normally, it will be already connected since you are using this app store of Wix. So once it's connected, of course, you will simply have to publish or first of all, you'll have to test the form. So before you publish your form, of course, it's important to test it to make sure it's working properly. So fill out the form fields and submit a test submission and check to make sure that the submission is being sent to the correct location and that all the information you provided is accurate. Of course, you can do that by getting into another browser as an example and going to your website or your store and doing so. Then you can simply publish the form and go to the page settings, of course, and you can enable your form. Then you'll simply have to, you'll have to analyze form data and as your visitor submits their information through your form, it's important to analyze the data you receive to make informed decisions. Most form apps will have analytic tools that you can use to track metrics like the number of submissions and the most popular form field and the conversation rate. Use, use da this data to make improvements to your form and optimize your website's user's experience. So that's it for this video on how to create a form on your Wix website in 2023. Forms are a powerful tool to collect information from your website and engage with them in a meaningful way. Hope this tutorial was helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more website building tips and tutorials. I will see you in the next video.